Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So in my last video, which is my Ulta and Sephora haul, if you've not seen it, go ahead and check it out. You guys definitely wanted to see a full face of first impressions when I brought up the idea. So today I'm gonna be doing that for you guys. I'm super excited to play around in some new makeup. I have a full drawer of new makeup. So I'm gonna go ahead and put my hair clips in. You know how it goes and we're gonna get playing in some makeup. Okay, I just went and did my brows off camera and I went ahead and prepped my eyelids with some concealer. I do wanna say bear with me as far as the lighting goes. I'm testing out my lighting in my new place. So just bear with me. But we are going to go ahead and get started. The first thing I have to try is this Glow Recipe Cloudberry Bright Essence Toner. I'm super excited for this. Michaela on TikTok uses this, as I said in my last haul. So I want to see if I like it. I really hope it works for skin prep. It is really runny, so I'm just going to go ahead and rub it in my hand and go ahead and put that on my skin. It has a good scent. It just smells clean. It's not like overpowering or anything like that. I'm mostly looking for, of course, the brightening and then also hydration out of this toner. Every time Michaela preps her skin, it looks amazing. It looks so dewy and hydrated, and that's what I would like to have. I'm also gonna go in with a product from P. Louise. This is the Sauce on the Side Moisturizer. I don't really know much about it. I just got it in one of my subscription boxes. It has a pump, which is nice. Again, I just want some hydration, and I really hope everything works together. It's so hard when you're doing a full face of first impressions, especially with base products, because you just don't know which part it is that is making your makeup break up if it does. What I will say about this moisturizer is it feels super thin, and it's definitely giving a glow so far. It honestly just feels kind of wet which I'm not necessarily opposed to. The skin definitely looks far hydrated than it did before. Let me know if you agree or disagree. I think it looks pretty good right now. I'm not having the best of skin days, so we're really testing these products out. For eyeshadow, the only thing I really have is this P. Louise, but does it come in pink eyeshadow palette? It says for eye and face. I don't wanna do anything too crazy, but famous last words. I wasn't planning to do pink today. But I don't really have much to do today, so I guess it doesn't matter. I could run to Ulta, but am I the only one that has a hard time going to Ulta in a full beat? It's so weird. If it looks like a natural full beat, that's fine. But like lashes and color scares me to go in Ulta. I feel like everybody's just looking. I feel like we can do it rather natural though because there's some light colors in here. So let's go ahead and play around. I love P. Louise eyeshadows. I have used them before. Okay, I'm zooming you in quite a bit. That way we can go ahead and see how these eyeshadows actually perform. I'm picking up the shade Pretty Soul on a fluffy brush and I'm gonna start that into my crease. And as you can see for a light shade, these have decent pigment. I mean, it's showing up. I don't know if you guys can tell much, but I am really liking this light pink color. Next, I'm gonna go into the shade Pinky Promise right here. It seems to be a bit deeper. And we're just gonna go in with the same brush. These pinks are so cute. Now I wanna go into the shade Think Pink. And I'm gonna put this on the outer V. We're just gonna deepen it up just a little bit. I'm very obviously getting some fallout. I will say, of some of the P. Louise shadows I've tried, I feel like these are some of the chalkier ones. I feel like it's kind of lifting a little bit out here, like the colors aren't layering well. We're gonna try an even deeper shade, and we're just gonna kind of pack that in. This is in the shade Outfit Change. I'm just cleaning it up a little bit to see if I can see where this is going. I don't know what is happening on this eye. I feel like it's picking up. I don't know if you can see that. All right, we're gonna go in with a much deeper shade and just see if I can salvage this. Okay, just tried to increase the lighting a little bit. I think that's much better. You'll have to again, let me know. I feel like it looks a lot better, but as you can see, when you're looking at it, I feel like it looks kind of patchy, but I'm gonna go in with like a glitter type of eyeshadow and see if we can salvage it. We are just completely undetermined how we feel about this, but I feel like the mattes aren't performing how I want them to. Maybe it's pink. I feel like pink is a difficult color to work with, but I'm gonna go in with one of these single shadows from Sephora. I have three of them. I've got these two, and then this one, I have the shades. Milky Way, I also have To The Moon and Back, and Ballet Shoes. These are super affordable. I am in my single shadow era. I am obsessed with single eyeshadows. I don't know why I think they're just sometimes better. Here are the three shades, they're so pretty. And here they are on the back of my hand. This one up here is more of like a glitter and then this, these two are like almost, they feel like cream to powders. They're not creams though. I don't know what shade I should do. I don't know if this is the right way to go, but I wanna go in with the shade Milky Way. I'm just gonna go in with my finger and apply it onto the lid. That is super pretty. I just packed that on with my finger. I got a little bit in my brow, so disregard that. I feel like these eyeshadows underneath are so powdery though that it's making it not perform its best. Okay, we're pulling out Fix Plus. I'm gonna put some on my brush and then I'm gonna spray it with Fix Plus and just see what happens. I don't know if you can tell, these are super putty-like. I'm interested to see if it like foils the eyeshadow a little bit more. I wonder if I should go in with Ballet Shoes, which is a glitter effect, and see what happens. If I just place it on top. Okay, I feel like it lightened it up a little bit more, maybe made it a bit sparklier, not really sure. 
I do think these are pretty though, and they're super affordable, especially if you can catch them on sale. I think I got this for like $5. Okay, I zoomed you back out so we can move on to some base makeup. I really want to use this Maybelline 4-in-1 Glow Makeup Perfector. This is the Instant Age Rewind Perfector. I have mine in the shade Light. I hope that it works. It should be fine or I can make it work. I have high hopes for this, so I really hope it's good. It's super affordable too, so I'm going to just start twisting it up. How it looks on my skin is going to determine whether or not I wear it as like a primer or a foundation. I think you can do both. But my skin, again, is not in its best state. So we're gonna see what I end up doing. You can see some of the product is coming out. We're just gonna go for it. We're just gonna swipe it on. I feel like I need more. Oh, the shade is like perfect. Wait, I really hope this is pretty. These kinds of applicators are so much fun. I don't know how much I should use, so I'm just covering the whole face. It may be way too much, but we're gonna find out. That's what these are for. I'm gonna get my mirror. I'm gonna go in with a brush and blend. Oh, that is a really pretty glow. Wait. My little sister has been wanting me to try this for a while now so that she can try it if I like it. My siblings, my mom, they all wait for me to try products before they do. I'm their little guinea pig. It is giving me like flawless filter vibes or like elf halo glow. But I feel like I like this one as a foundation more than the other ones that I mentioned before. You guys, if I spot conceal, I could definitely, definitely wear this as a foundation. I don't know if I want to or not today because I'm like, I kind of want to try other products. So far, so good on this. I think I am going to go in with a foundation just because I want a little more full coverage and we're trying out products, so why not try out more? The foundation I'm going to use is the Estee Lauder Futurist Skin Tint Serum. So we'll use a skin tint. I have mine in the shade 1N2 Ecru or Ecru. I know this is probably gonna be a little light for me, but again, we can make it work. I have heard really good things about this. This has a broad spectrum of SPF 20, which we do like. It says, a silky skin caring serum with the beauty benefits of a sheer tinted skin tone perfector. So it's gonna look really pretty with this underneath of it, probably as long as I like it. I think that the two could go really nicely together because this adds the glow and then this is just a skin tint. So we already have a little bit of coverage, so I can't really test the coverage of this on its own but with that, I can. I do love a dropper. I know they get messy. We're just gonna go in. I'm gonna use a really little amount. This seems darker than my other one and two. I have the, uh, what is it called? The other one, the other serum that's in the different packaging and I do like it. All right, back in with a brush. I'm just gonna stamp this in. Like I said, the shade is definitely a little light, but we're gonna make it work with our other products. Off the bat, it does seem to be a lot more hydrating than its sister. Let me show you what I'm talking about instead of just talking about it. This is the one I was talking about, the Estee Lauder Double Wear Sheer Long Wear Makeup. This one has an SPF of 19, that's so weird. This one is 20. I think this one might be meant to have more of a dewy finish and that one more matte. That one is super long lasting. I like to bring it when I go to places like Disney. Up close, my skin looks so good and so dewy. I'm excited about this. I always like to look what my skin looks like on my phone in the camera and I'm liking it. Let me record for you. Here's how it's looking on the phone. Literally no filters, amazing. I like, I really like. I will say this far, I'm having no separating or anything like that from any of the products underneath. I do not have a new cream bronzer, but I do have a new brush that I could use for cream bronzer. This is the Morphe Lightform M101 Dual Ended Complexion Brush. Now it has two sides. Both of them are like the soft black bristles. Usually I would use something like this for powder, but we're gonna try it out for cream for our cream bronzer today. I'm going to use Say Sun Melt because anytime I'm pale, I use this one. It's also literally one of my favorite cream bronzers. It might be my favorite. We're just gonna press into the product, then go right in and see how it blends this out. All right, it looks okay so far. I feel like it doesn't spread as much as like one of my other brushes might. I feel like once it's placed, it's kind of placed. It doesn't look bad though. It kind of reminds me of like my e.l.f. dual ended brush or maybe like an It Cosmetics one. This is a bit smaller than both of those that I just mentioned. The good thing is it's not moving around any of my makeup underneath, so that's always a good sign. I can't sit here and tell you it's my favorite brush, but it works, it does the job, you can use it but I can't say I would go out and buy it. For cream blush, we have another Patrick Ta one. I do own one of these and then I also own a palette. I know you are meant to use these powder to cream, but we're breaking the rules today. I'm so sorry. I think you can use it both ways. I don't think it really matters. This color is insane. We're gonna go back in with that brush and we're just gonna dip into the powder or into the cream, I'm so sorry. And then we're just gonna place it and start blending. 
I love this shade. I don't know that I like this brush for blush though, to be honest with you. I like this shade. Oh my God, this is so pretty. If you have a Patrick Ta blush, what is your favorite shade? This might've just become mine. I own She's Wanted. I also own a palette, but out of the ones that I have, I think this might be my favorite. It is so gorgeous. I feel like it's a really good blush for all seasons too. Like you could do it summer, definitely fall. I feel like it's like universal and I like that. I also love with his compacts that he separates the two so that the powder doesn't get into the cream. That's so nice. I know I brought my blush in really far, but just trust the process. All you gotta do is take your brush you used for the rest of your face and tap it out. I'm really liking the way that this is looking so far. You'll have to let me know what you think, but so far, so good on the base. Listen, I said full face of first impressions and I'm trying to keep it as full face as possible. So this is the only concealer that I have and I'm really worried this is gonna ruin it, but this is the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Light Capturing Self Setting Concealer. I don't know how I feel about self-setting, but it comes with four shades. I got it in one of my Sephora packages. I'm gonna go ahead and go in with the lightest shade here, and I'm gonna put that on my under eye. Listen, I might fall in love with it. You just never know, but I feel like nobody talks about this anymore. It used to be a big hit, and then I think they did reformulate it. I'm just gonna dip into it with the other end of this brush. I'm probably not gonna blend it out with this brush, but just to apply it. Ooh, that is a bright shade. Watch me fall in love with this. The only thing with these samples is they give you so much. Like once it's opened, how am I to use it? I know, oh my God, I said it's self-setting. I need to work a bit faster than this. We're just gonna use the foundation brush to blend out the face spots. It looks fine, but the real test is once we test the under eyes. How do you guys feel about self-setting? I'm undecided. I've had some self-setting concealers before. I don't know that they really set themselves, but I still always set something that claims it's self-setting. I'm just, I have trust issues, okay? Okay. Let me do a little bit more. All right, it's not looking bad by any means. It definitely has good coverage. That is something I'm noticing. And I wonder how photograph, because anything I've tried from them that's like HD, it always photographs well. It looks good in all honesty. Let me know what you think about this concealer because I feel like nobody talks about it anymore. So if you've tried it, I'd love to know what you think. We're still looking like flawless on my phone. I love to, again, look in the camera and just see. Let me wipe my crusty lips. You guys prefer when your lips look like that, like with foundation on them, or do you prefer them without? To be 1000% honest, I do prefer when my lips have the foundation on them because then I feel like this looks weird. It just looks way too bright. Okay, it literally is not creasing. That is so interesting. Is it too good to be true? I just wonder. My under eyes though, they look so bright. My skin looks flawless, what is happening? You guys, I get excited about makeup. I feel like those people who are making those videos that people don't actually get that excited about makeup, yeah, they do. I'm one of them, and I'm not even like a mega influencer or anything like that, so I'm not even lying. Why would I need to lie? Ain't nobody paying for this? Girl. Listen, I know it claims to be self-setting, but I have to try this Pat McGrath powder. This is in the shade Baby Pink. It's the Skin Fetish Subline Perfection Blurring Under Eye Powder. It's not like too pink when you look at it. It has like a pink hue, a pink tint, but I feel like it's gonna be really pretty. I've only ever seen good reviews about this powder. I think on one eye I'm gonna do a brush, on one eye I'm gonna do a puff and just see what we like better. Whenever it comes to a pressed powder, I pretty much always only use a brush, but I feel like I need to try out both options. So I'm gonna go ahead and tap out my under eye. There is very minimal creasing with this concealer, but I still just wanna tap it out. And then I'm gonna go in with a Sephora 98 brush and we're just gonna pick some up. I forgot it's super finely milled. It is flying everywhere with powder. And we're just gonna start setting the under eye. How does that look? I feel like I can't really like tell. I feel like when I watch the video back, when I'm editing on a bigger screen and not just in my viewfinder, I might be able to tell. It looks set, it definitely looks smooth, but we're gonna see, we're gonna see what we think. I'm picking up a powder puff that desperately needs clean for this under eye. Again, I'm tapping out whatever creasing may be there and I'm just gonna go in. This could be like really light. Wait, that is looking so smooth. Do I like it better with a puff? Maybe. I don't know that I'm getting a lot of pink. I feel like I definitely would need to try out the white one to see how different it is. I'm just gonna finish this side out with a puff as well because I think I like it better with a puff. I know it said under eye powder, but I'm putting it on my chin. It does seem to be super blurring. I'll have to keep you posted on how it wears and if it keeps my under eye set. This far, I think my thoughts are good. Okay, I don't know why I'm so excited for this product. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Bronzer. This is in the shade 
medium. So I need to make sure that I don't like rip the package in case I have to return it. But I think the shade's gonna be fine because I typically like a little bit darker of a bronzer and the fair was like really light. They don't have a light. They have like a fair and then a medium. I'm also of course gonna be using my Makeup by Mario. This is my new brush. This is the F2. I'm gonna use the bigger side. I'm just gonna go ahead and put my brush into the compact and then I'm just gonna go in and see what we think. Okay, already I love this brush and I will continue to use it. Makeup by Mario brushes are simply elite. There was no need to worry about the color. I really love the color of this bronzer and I feel like it looks so smooth. I think I'm loving this. I think it looks so, so pretty. This is a step I always do. I'm just gonna carve this area out before I go in with my blush. Okay, we're gonna go back in with our Patrick Ta for blush. Again, this is the shade She's Flushed and I'm gonna go in with the smaller end of the brush. They are super powdery and I'm just going to blend that into my cheeks. Oh, pretty. I feel like this is giving like the perfect sun-kissed color. I also really like this brush for blush as well. I love a punchy blush, so if you don't like it, you can leave. Apparently, I didn't believe that to be enough blush, so we're going in with the Rare Beauty Soft Pinch Blush. This is the powder one, Enjoy. This one has a sheen, so I think it'll be really pretty on top. This is a peachy one. Look how stunning. Oh, that picked up a lot on the brush, so I'm gonna dust some off. And I'm gonna kind of focus this on the apples of the cheeks. The glow. Like you can use this on its own or as a blush topper. It doesn't really matter. Immediately it adds that glow and I love that. If you are a heavy blush hater, this isn't the channel for you. Just letting you know you're not gonna like it. You guys, I spoke to you soon about that concealer. It's creasing now. That is so unfortunate, that doesn't look good. For highlight, I'm gonna be trying out the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in the shade Soft and Gentle. This is an oldie, I think definitely a goodie, but I've never tried it so we're gonna find out. This also has a lot of kick up. That is stunning. Hello. Do not even mess with me right now. That is so gorgeous. Wow. What is soft and gentle about this highlight? Is it kind of like the Iceland Greenland thing? That's what they wanted us to think. Soft and gentle, because it's definitely not soft nor gentle. Maybe I'm just a heavy handed person. That is beautiful. It may not be everybody's cup of tea, but it is mine. The next thing I'm gonna go in with, I'm super intrigued by, this is the Evian Glow Facial Mist. Now, I did never, I never would have bought the original one because it's literally just water and nitrogen. That is all that the ingredient list is. But I'm definitely intrigued in this one because it has a larger ingredient list and I love to glow. I also like that it's an aerosol. So I'm gonna just go ahead and spray my face. It smells really good. It's actually pretty strong. I just tasted it and it's pretty sweet. Do not eat this. I don't think it's really gonna make your makeup last any longer, but it's definitely gonna make you glowy. I'm definitely seeing the glow come through. And I think it's pretty. My base looks incredible on my camera. I'm gonna show you. I'm filming it right now. Just look at it, insane. I suppose I'm gonna go back in with this palette that I'm not really happy with right now, but it's fine. I just need to do my lower lash line, that's all. I'm going in with the shade Outfit Change right now and I'm keeping that close to my lash line. I'm now going in with the shade Pinky Promise and I'm just gonna blend that underneath just to blend it in a little more with my under eye. My under eyes I'm not super happy with right now to be honest with you, so I'm bringing this so low. I don't know whether it's the concealer or the powder. I feel like it's the concealer just because of the amazing things I've heard about the powder. But I'll try both with different products just to see exactly which one it is and let you guys know. I'm gonna go in with a little bit of my highlight as well and I'm gonna put that on the inner corner. I've tried this formula. I literally have just never tried this color. This is the Urban Decay 24 seven Glide on Eye Pencil in the shade Perversion. You would think that'd be the first shade that I try because it's just black, but it wasn't unfortunately. And I am just going to line my waterline with this. We have all heard of this eyeliner that it is like the best of the best. I'm just doing my waterline and my tight line. I'm just trying to smudge it out just a tiny bit. I did not have any new mascara, so I just went ahead and did that off of camera. I feel like I want to have fun and do some lashes. I have a new pair to use. These are the Ardell Doll Look Lashes in the style Innocent. So I am interested and we're gonna go ahead and just test them out because why the hell not? I don't know how I'm gonna feel about like a doll look eyelash if I'm gonna even like it, but we're gonna find out together. So this was the right lash, but I'm gonna put it on my left eye because I cut it on the inside, which I usually do. And now it looks like that's the shortest part and I don't wanna look funky. So we're just gonna do it that way. Okay, I really like the slash style. While it is a doll eye style, I feel like it still has a really pretty flair to it. Okay, I can't get this one to lay down as well as the other one, especially on the inner corner. 
but it works and I think these are really pretty. Let's go ahead and finish this off with lips. For lip liner, I really want to use the Sephora one in Sink or Suede. These are retractable, which is really cool. These were also really viral. So let's go ahead and see if it was worth the hype. Oh my god, that moves like butter. This color is really nice, and these are only $13. I really, really love this shade. Now I need to pick a lipstick out of all of the ones I have to try. I think I want to try out the Charlotte Tilbury one in Candy Chic. It's like a cool tone, pink. I love these lipsticks. I just haven't tried this shade. This liner and lipstick combo is everything. That color, I am obsessed with that. It is the most perfect wearable pink. If you're interested but afraid of pinks, try this out. Now for lip gloss, I do want to try one out. Again, for the sake of trying as many products as possible. This is the Giorgio Armani Prisma Glass High Shine Hydrating Oil Infused Lip Gloss in the shade Berry Beam. I swatched these in store. I don't know why I didn't even know they were coming out with these, but they looked so pretty. Look at the packaging. I don't know if you can tell in the two, but it has like the slightest gold reflect. I'm just gonna go ahead and go in at this. Oh, the shine. That feels so good. And it looks so good. I love that. And I'm gonna want to pick up more shades. This lip combo, I'm gonna have to jot this one down because I love it. I might have to film a little TikTok. You guys, we made it. That is the makeup all completed. I'm really liking it. I will say, I'm gonna go ahead and go over a few products that just kind of didn't stand out to me or they stood out to me, not necessarily for the best reasons. And one of those being the P. Louise eyeshadow. I just expected so much more out of her shadows. I feel like sometimes it can be a little hit or miss. I love P. Louise and I'm always gonna get my subscription boxes, but I, it's also could be because pinks might be really hard. So I'm gonna give her some grace, but this one just wasn't my favorite, unfortunately. Now this pains me to say, I don't like my under eyes right now. I don't know if it was the concealer or the powder. I need to try them both separately again and I'll keep you guys posted. I don't think it's the powder. I think it's the concealer. There may probably be a good reason that people aren't talking about the concealer anymore because my eyes, under eyes just look so creepy. Those are really the two things or the two or three things that I didn't really like. Other than that, I think everything looks great. The Maybelline Skin Perfector and the Estee Lauder Skin Tint. I cannot wait to try these on their own and see how they work on their own. I feel like this is just gonna be so stunning for summer. It could be really pretty for just for every day. Literally rub it in with your fingers. I'm probably gonna use this when I work, you know, my makeup artist jobs because it's super quick. And then this, this was really pretty. My skin looks really hydrated. Also could be due to this Evian Glow Mist. Can't wait to use this some more. See what I think about it a little more. The lip combo stood out again, but this gloss, insane. It's so high shine and it feels so good. I feel like all in all, we were pretty successful with how we turned out. Let me know which of these products that you've tried out and let me know what you think of them. But other than that, that's it for the video. If you guys enjoyed, please consider subscribing to see more content from me. I'm thinking of possibly doing like a full face of indie brands. Let me know if that's something you'd be interested in. It's just support small companies I feel like it could be really good and I also feel like indie makeup can be amazing just because because they go so unnoticed and nobody really pays attention so I would like to try I also have considered doing a full face of UK brands I think that'd be fun it would be quite the online order so you're gonna have to let me know if that's even something you'd be interested in before I place that order but yeah if you liked today's video don't forget to give it a thumbs up subscribe if you want to see more content from me and I'll see you guys in my next one bye guys